Right then, so what is going on gang? I have an unboxing video. Well, unbox and fit. It's not just going to be one of them videos where you get to see me over my new stuff. I'm going to be putting this stuff on the van. So, to start with, the SP, SP Connect, that is exposed. Let's try it on this camera. The SP Connect motor mount. So I've got the motor mount pro and the universal case. They didn't have my case specifically, so I got the universal case because I've got a weird crappy phone. Um, however, after purchasing these, I was told that these, this will vibrate the camera out of my phone and make it useless. So um, that's something to consider if you're thinking about this mounting mechanism. They're aware of it and they make a £50 add-on that will make your, fo your phone vibrate less when using it. But apparently even that doesn't stop it from being broken. Um, there's people with reports of having, after two hours of riding with their phone attached to this, the camera's broken. Now for me, I'm getting this so I can have like ordnance survey maps in front of me for green laning um, and just use it as an av. So what I can do is I can use one of my old phones and uh, not worry about the camera being broken. But if you only had one phone or you were planning on using your, your personal phone, might want to think about it before you put it on this dock. A little bit disappointed to be honest because if they know that it breaks and they've got a mod, they shouldn't really sell them without them. It's a phone mount at the end of the day. Every phone's got a camera these days. And you could probably argue that every phone doesn't have a camera. But every phone they provide a case for does have a camera. So if they know they break, which they do, because they're providing the extra that makes it break less, that should be included in the pack, in my opinion. Certainly for something that is this expensive. But it is built aluminium. But let's open it. Let's have a look. First of all, let's delve into this little monster. Nice package. Looks well. Let's uh, see where we can open it. Put that away before we lose a finger. So. Get a cheeky little manual with it. it. Tells you how to do it. How to install it. You can get loads of different bits for this. I suggest going and having a look at the website if you're interested in this. For me, it was between the quad lock and this and if to be honest quad lock looked a little bit better for me um, but quad lock don't do this and this looks like a waterproof phone case although it is water resistant um, I would assume it's a lot more waterproof than your typical rubber phone case that doesn't have a front on it which is why I went for this because obviously like I said green lane in water is going to be a common thing so yeah the quality looks pretty darn good swivels it's got a little bar mount you've got extra spaces in here for smaller bars so if your bars aren't that thick or wherever you decide to mount it if they're not that thick you've got little spaces here to make it even smaller and there is there seems to be a little rubber just in between there like a bush that should take some of the vibrations and because my phone is floating around in this maybe that'll take even more of the vibrations but I'll let you know because I'm using a, like I say, I'm using an old phone. So as soon as I, I'll keep double checking that camera and once that's gone, that's gone. So this does come with an Allen key, some 3M sticky tape to secure it and very nicely, a spare bolt. So when it vibrates free, you've got a spare. Especially for me because I'm on the, the 690 or the Husqvarna 701 with a 690 engine. It's probably one of the, the more vibrating models out there. So yeah, quality looks good. Let's uh, let's get the other one out now. Let's get the case. Put this back away. So it's got watertight seams and it's water resistant. God knows why it's not waterproof. Surely it's not hard to make a bag that's waterproof that rolls, you know, like a little canoe bag. Maybe it is waterproof and they're just covering their own back in case you break your phone. But um, it feels waterproof. See if my phone fits. Because it was advertised, I bought it for this phone because I didn't find out that it was going to break it. And what I'm thinking is that if you give this a tight enough roll, this is going to be waterproof. Just like a canoe bag, give it a nice tight roll. It's got a space for my camera as well. Not that you'll be needing it because these fucking break your cameras. 
but they put it there anyway just to rub salt in the wound at least you can check it's broken from your case i'm going to have to put some marks on this bag where my buttons are because uh, they're quite hard to see oh not see feel because it's quite it's quite thick it's like um imagine like an oxford tank bag or something like that, that material the textile style material like like i say it, it does feel like a waterproof material um, maybe I should fill it up from the inside and let's see if any water drips out of it because that'll be the ultimate test. Where, where does the water come out of it from? I want you to show me how to get to know Someone like you, someone like you I want you to know me because I know then you'll see We can be true, we can be true I want you to see what I see in eyes so real, something so real. I want you to see that this is a love that we both feel, that we both feel. And how will we ever know if the love will ever grow without trying, without trying? And how will we ever see if we are meant to be? It's terrifying, it's terrifying. But yeah, seems pretty solid to me. And because it's not fixed, I think it is going to take up some more of the vibrations. Uh, let's mount it to our new bracket. Oh, you can't rotate it. That is the locking mechanism. So you, if you were, if you didn't buy the Moto Mount Pro that has a swivel head on it, you would only be able to have this in one orientation. But because this has got the swivel head on it, I can have it in more than one. But it looks like you can only manoeuvre and manipulate this when they're loose and then you're meant to tighten them up afterwards. I am going to pack this lot away and let's come fit it to the back. Right then people, glad you're still with me. So I just thought I'd talk a little bit about the build quality. So I've used this now for one ride. It's only been one ride because on the ride that I did use this, I've broken my leg. Um, but let's talk about the fitting of it. First of all, insulation, very, very easy. It's got a great build quality. Like I said, it's aluminium and I think the quad lock is only plastic. So if you're looking at those two, that's something to consider. But do you really need it aluminium? I mean, plas the plastic what quad lock are using is probably gonna be strong enough, but it is nice to have it. It feels a much better build quality. The one thing I didn't like is the, the at first appearance it looks like you've got loads of adjustability but it's not really because you, you have to fix it all in place anyway. Um, so for most applications you don't need that much adjustability. It would be nice to have on the fly but if you've got to adjust it with an Allen key anyway you could just move a quad lock or an equivalent brand just to a different place on your bar. That's something I've noticed. It's also sometimes quite difficult to mount it so on the back of it you've got like two keys and then you've got two females so like a male and a female and you've got to line the two up with each other but sometimes you get the top male in the bottom female hole if that makes sense and I actually do it at the end of this video I tried to play it off because I, I couldn't really be bothered recording it again I just hobbled onto my bike with my broken leg to try and finish off this video but I'm sure if you work for SP you probably noticed I did that wrong and if you do that wrong and you don't unclip it correctly turning it back and you haven't got the key you're going to struggle to get that back in again now that's something that could be easily fixed with a bit of a design edit on the the key and lock mechanism if you want to call it that just a little nipple on the top one so the top one will only go in the top one um something like that but yeah that, that was slightly annoying overall it's it's held up very well it had a hard day riding when i took it out for a ride i didn't once doubt that it were going to come free it's very very solid we saw earlier that it's waterproof so all, I'm, I'm quite happy with the purchase to be honest it'd be, it'd be quite nice to get it next to a quad lock and compare it because that is their main competitor so if you are watching this from quad, quad lock and you want to send me one to compare them next to each other then please feel free hope you like the video and uh, stick around for some more Husqvarna mods catch you all later guys